Hello once again. So we're going to continue on where we left off. I highly recommend you watching the first video since there's quite a bit of information there uh, which is going to be relevant uh, for this video. So without any further ado, let's dig into the second part of the airflow. I'm sure most of you have heard uh, of the importance of keeping your throat open. Well, guess what? It's one of the most important and most misunderstood conceptions of all brass playing. Now the problem here is that most people refer to a throat as an area which is here. However, this area is a solid tube made of bone-like material, so it cannot be open or closed unless you're sick or your throat is swollen. What you should actually be focusing on is the area at the back of your mouth where the little tissue, dangling tissue called uvula is. Another often misunderstood conception is that I often hear brass players saying that the throat is open if your Adam apple is down and um, in a way it is right but it can be often misleading. You see the position of the Adam's apple is purely related to the positioning of your tongue. If you were to extend the tongue you'll notice that the Adam apple goes up and vice versa if we retract it. So this pretty much suggests us that um, throat space is directly related to our tongue position and since it's something that could potentially block the air wave in your mouth. And also by retracting your tongue, you will allow yourself to feel the back of your mouth area better. So that is the space that needs to be open all the time. However, there is obviously a limit to how much you can retract your tongue because we need to articulate. And uh, retracting it might feel a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning as well. It is highly related to the fact that we have to vibrate our lips unlike uh, woodwinds, singers, or even if we had like a simple conversation. And this is not the most natural tongue position to be at, so it might um, take you a little bit of time to get used to it. But don't worry, you'll get there in no time. So let's put this into practice. In order to practice your tongue retraction, you can use the exercise shown in the previous video. We can mix it up a little bit, just like I'm doing at the moment. Okay, so first of all, let's make sure that all the things mentioned in the first video are in check. We're not using any articulation for this exercise either. So if you start off the node with just pure air, no sound, that's perfectly fine and normal. The little trick that I use is uh, I retract the tongue whenever I breathe and I just completely forget about it when I start playing. Then I just completely focus on keeping the air warm and keep the relaxed feeling in my body. From my experience, I found that if I keep my tongue retracted whenever I inhale, it usually settles into perfect position whenever I start playing, uh, as long as I'm sufficiently relaxed. Also, make sure you do not force open the space in your mouth or your throat. This is just going to create the unnecessary tension. The way I like thinking about it is making sure it does not close rather than thinking on what's the best way to open it. This exercise is very airflow isolated. By that I mean that there are no complexities in fingers, articulations, or dynamics, and etc. So therefore, make sure you uh, completely focus on what's happening inside of your mouth. Focus on what's happening with your tongue or jaw whenever you move from one note or the other. Make sure you feel the airflow. Eventually learning how to feel these things, control them, and make them into a great habit is the most important thing about basic exercises. If you're just playing them for sakes of playing, the chances are you're benefiting from them very little. And on top of that, it's going to get boring very, very quickly. So by now you should be feeling a difference in sound and uh, the way the intervals feel. They should be smoother now. Uh, so one of the main takeaways from these videos is don't be afraid to experiment and um, don't freak out if it doesn't sound exactly perfect in the beginning. It's going to get there in no time as long as you make sure you focus on the way it feels and keep in mind all the points I've mentioned before. So for that we have a single tongue. <laughs> The next one is a double tongue. And finally a triple tongue.